Hawkins here with Chicken Hawk Farm Set, and today we got something pretty cool. It is a intelligent oxygen pump, also known as an air pump, for our aquaponics, hydroponics, our fish tank. I mean, basically, we could use this for anything. I'll probably end up using it for a fish tank for breeding. I'm hopefully going to get into breeding some fish soon, and it's always good to have one. The cool thing about this one, it says it is an ultra quiet one. So we're gonna have to test that out here in a second. We do have our decimal meter. So we can check that out, see how, just how quiet this intelligent air pump is. All right, let's crack it open and see what it looks like. This is model CN900, it says five watts. So I'll open it up here. Actually looks really nice, the package. We got some instructions. Aqua oxygen air pump. Okay, and look. Oh, that, oh, see, that's a nice hose. That's actually the like feels like the real like flexible hose. Uh, last time I had an air pump, I got that. I guess it was more of a plastic. I got this kind of like a. I don't know if it's a vinyl hose or what. But yeah, that that's worth the price of admission right there. All right, it does come with. Uh, I believe those are check valves. Air stones, suction cups. So this looks like the whole whole kit and caboodle. Which is nice because it's got everything you need. You ain't gonna kind of parse that part out. I like the size. It is pretty small. Uh, my other one's got a that I do have. It's got a lot lot larger footprint. Okay, got a nice feel to it too. This is a two outlet. So if you're running the to two different tanks, you're not gonna have to worry about you know. Splitting the line, that's what I had to do the other one. I believe I only got up to one one line on there, and it's actually a lot, lot larger unit than this thing. It wasn't an intelligent air pump, so that may be the difference. All right, I'm going to set that down for a second. And I'm going to plug this thing in, and we have a mason jar here full of water. We'll see how she does, how she blows. Be right back. All right, this ain't the easiest way to the film here. Trying to get down so you can see the water and see all this. Uh, I was reading over this here. It does say the output looks like is 10 liters a minute. I'm assuming that's for the air. Uh, we plug this up and got the power. We got a plus and minus. So we do have different air speeds, which is actually kind of cool. I guess that could be the intelligent part. And it says do not use the air pump for diving, in case anybody was curious about that. Don't do it. Uh, I was trying to see how much uh, hose they gave us here and it I'm not a hundred percent sure but it, it's probably about 10 feet and like I said this is some some good quality actually hose so let's turn it on and see what we got hold it three seconds not bad that looks like that was full speed right there it started out with I don't know if you can hear me over it right now it is ex pretty pretty dang quiet all right, we're going to go down to level three, level two, and one. And on one, it's extremely quiet. And yeah, we're getting quite a bit of bubbles here. Now, uh, both of the, I only have one inlet or outlet, I guess it would be, hooked up. Uh, I put my finger over it. It actually gets a little bit quieter, so some of the noise is just coming out of there. It doesn't look like it changes the amount of air flowing from the air stone itself. But yeah, I'm kind of impressed with this. Let's get a quick uh, decimal reading and see what that looks like. Sounds like. Whichever. Alright. Right up on it. Looking at 60 it looks like. That's all the way down. Now let's turn this bad boy all the way up. And see what we get. Still getting around 62. It's not bad at all. I mean, that's... Like I said, that's quiet. I got my thumb... Oh, wow. Yeah. We're looking at 60... 62. Hold on a second. Let me get a better angle. So, I don't know the longevity as far as this thing goes, because, uh, as you can see, this is just pulled out of the package. But the quality feels good. Keep it dry. It's going to keep you know keep on running. Uh, they give you plenty of hose, like I said. 
It actually looks like there's a T in there. The two check valves, the two air stones. Great little deal. I'll put a link below so you can uh, go take a look at it if you're interested. This would also be good, I guess, for brewing. Uh, if you had a, you know, a brew or a batch that you were trying to aerate pretty good, I'd say go for it because uh, nice little quiet unit here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.